A320 Mentor Channel. Thanks for watching. Next, let's talk about the barrel reference. Your aircraft is approaching a selected altitude. How many feet prior to the selected altitude will the yellow outline box flash? 750 feet. Will you get an altitude warning? Only if you are hand flying. If the autopilot is engaged, you will not get an alert. You are established at the selected altitude. What will cause the box to turn amber? Any deviation from altitude of 250 feet. Will this deviation cause an altitude warning? <laughs> Absolutely. Anytime you deviate by more than 250 feet, regardless of autopilot, the alert will sound. Is there any time that the numerical value on the altitude tape might go amber? Yes, whenever you descend below an MDA that is set in the MCDU, they will turn amber. When will you get a numerical value on the IVSI? Any time climb or descent is greater than 200 feet per minute. Would the IVSI pointer and the numerical value ever turn amber? Yes, whenever you had an excessive vertical speed. If an amber box appeared around the vertical speed numerical value, what has occurred? The numeric value is IVSI, which is provided by the IRs. If you lose the IRs and revert to regular VSI, the ADIRs are now supplying the barrel reference so you get the amber box. At the bottom of the altitude tape, coming into view, there is a blue box around 28,000. What is that blue box? That is the selected altitude on the FCU. Could that box ever be seen at the top of the altitude tape? Yes, in this case we are obviously descending to flight level 280. Since the altitude is below the current altitude of the aircraft, so it comes up to meet the aircraft altitude. However, if the aircraft was below flight level 280, then as we approach that altitude, the blue box would appear from the top as the aircraft climb to meet flight level 280. Given the current altitude displayed on the altitude tape, is there anything wrong with the display of 29.94 QNH? Yes, we are above the transition altitude of flight level 180. So we should not be displaying the QNH, and it would be flashing. How would you correct this problem? You would have to go to the barrow knob on the first officer side of the FCU and pull the knob out. This would switch the display to STD. There is an amber ILS displayed on the PFD. Assume it is flashing at you. What has occurred? First, in the MCDU I have selected an ILS approach and I have selected the approach button on the FCU to on. However, I have not selected the ILS button on to display the ILS raw data. What would occur on a non-precision approach? On a non-precision approach, there is a similar function that is called VDIV. We normally get a magenta VDIV for an approach nav approach. If there was a flashing amber VDIV, it would indicate a similar situation had occurred. It would indicate that I have selected a non-precision approach in the MCDU, but I have the ILS button pushed, displaying the glide slope. Since glide slope takes precedence over anything else, we could not see the raw data for the non-precision approach. What is the magenta donut displaying? It is displaying the vertical navigation deviation. When the magenta donut is displaying, the scale is plus or minus 500 feet. So if the aircraft is more than a 500 foot deviation from the VNAV descent plan, you would not see the donut. However, you can see a more accurate reading of our deviation in feet on the PROG page of the MCDU, but it doesn't give us a graphic display. However, if we are on an approach nav approach, the donut is replaced with the shoe box. It is still a VNAV deviation, but it is now only 200 feet instead of 500 feet. A big difference between the vertical navigation magenta donut and the magenta diamond for an ILS is that VDIV is very linear. It's always 500 or 200 feet all the way down. However, if you have a glide slope referenced by the magenta diamond, it is angular. In other words, as you get closer to the runway, the constraints get tighter and it becomes more sensitive.
A320, Mentor Channel.